Welcome back to Venture to Low. This is a how-to video on when you have a 360 magnet. This works for about any magnet. Sometimes you're out, sometimes you get stuck, sometimes you gotta really pull hard. Sometimes you gotta use a vehicle or come along to get the magnet loose. Usually when you do that, it will break the Loctite loose on that bolt that holds your lock or your eyelid on there. So it'll break this loose. And then when you start throwing out, if you don't check this, you'll lose your magnet because it'll slowly come off. You'll pull this back on your carabiner on the end of your rope, and this part will be gone. It'll be in the water. And that's what happened with this one. Luckily, it came out of the water and it fell off on the piece of metal as we had the rope in the hand on shore. So we got lucky. We didn't lose it. But I have recovered magnets that people thrown out, pull back in, and all they have is an eyelet. Best way to do that is grab a piece of metal, decent size, tie it to your rope, especially like an old window weight, throw it back out, the magnet will stick to the metal. Opposite of magnet fishing, you're fishing for magnets then. That's usually how I find lost magnets when people lose them. But what we're gonna do here, as I said, this one came off. I'm gonna show you how to lock tight it again. Make sure you clean that hole out. That way when you go put your bolt in, it will seat all the way inside. That way it's not sticking out or nothing. Make sure that's in there good. I already cleaned that one out. Stuck the bolt through it. Luckily, we still got the lock washer. It was stuck to the magnet. Any bit of thing here. That will slide on top of your magnet like that. Take your Loctite. This has already been shooken up real good. And apply it to your magnet just ever so slightly big old glob of it definitely doesn't hurt it grab your eyelet spin her back on there make sure you got her tightened in there good i always hand tighten it first there it is then grab an allen wrench for that size you gotta remember Magnet steel, they stick. So it's always fun to get this in to that hole. Once it's in there, it'll stay. Also, when you do this, make sure you clean off your magnet first so you don't have all the junk and crud all over it. And make sure you got wearing gloves. And you one more step, you can wear safety glasses. Because anything comes flying off this or you're moosing around and something smacks into it, it can cause sparks, cause the debris to fly off of it. Always better to be safe than sorry. Then also, any tool, you gotta remember, it's steel. Magnet, it will stick. Myself, I use bronze aluminum. They're a little more on the pricey side, but they will not stick to the magnet. They fall off. So... Safety. I'm a little fancy with the camera angles here. Here we go. Allen wrench on the bottom. I take the bronze aluminum screwdriver here. Slide her in there. As you hold the Allen wrench with the other hand, give her a good twist. Make sure she's snug on there. I know this is an improper use of a screwdriver, but I don't have any other ones that are bronze aluminum. Mine is something like this. As I said, you can use a regular steel screwdriver. It smacks on there tight. Same thing. Slide it on there some. Give her a good twist. Make sure she's tight. Once you have it all nice and snug down in place, you use a little bit of extra there sticking out. If you got the washer in there, it's a lot less sticking out. But since we lost the washer with this one, I'm not going to worry about that. For added bonus and security, what I do with my magnets, all of them, that way if this come break Loctite comes loose on here and it wants to break loose, I take a regular old nail punch here, and as I said, the magnetic will stick. But I'll stick it right in those threads right there, and I'll tap that with a hammer, and I'll flatten the threads down, so this will actually will not unthread all the way. This one happened to break through, because we were pulling so hard, and eventually broke that little bend that we put in there as an added security. But all my other ones, Never had that problem. They've come loose. I was able to have it threaded all the way to the top. Put some more Loctite in there. Tighten it back down. Let it sit for 24 hours. 
we're back in business show you how i do it here kind of hard to do it on the camera angles that i have but put it in there grab your hammer as it says magnetic so it's going to stick to it just give it a good tap and it usually pings that over you can grab this 10 millimeter socket quarter inch it'll slide right inside that hole just like that set it down flat put your punch right inside there at a slight angle give it a good hit now bend that threads over so that can't come out you can see it you see where it dented the threads makes it a lot harder for that eyelet to come off here is Zan's Kratos Titan here. The other one we did was a 2400 Kratos. This is the Titan 360 here. Same thing with his. The eyelet came loose, and this one was actually stuck to our bridge. So we had to get down, get down there, get it back off the bridge. So we got the eyelet. And since this thing's been pulled so many times, that bolt is not loose at all. This thing won't push out or nothing. Because we've tugged on this thing so hard. And he's actually was across the what, west coast, east, across the east coast, and had to have it pulled a couple times out with the vehicle. But here's his, here's his eyelet. We're gonna lock tight this one. Make sure you clean this all up really nice and good. Get all the crud off of it. Again, lock tight, shake her up. Open it up. As I said, it's blue lock tight. Right here. A big old glob on there. Eyelet. Spin around by hand. Snug her down by hand. Like I said, around the aluminum. Get her in there. Just give her a good old yank. Take her down. Let it sit for 24 hours. You'll be all set. Throw it back in the water. And hopefully it doesn't come back loose again until you got to pull on it hard again. The tools I used. To put this back together and everything else so we let this sit for 24 hours now and we start tossing it out it's literally just simple blue loctite this can do i don't know how many magnets i've had this thing for years now and locked into all our magnets with that bottle i used a simple nail punch to punch over the threads a little bit to hold them in place better or you use a little chisel one which works too hammer if i remember right this is one we actually found magnet fishing one of the probably 100 of them we found and i used the bronze aluminum screwdriver and pro safety that's the part number there otherwise a regular steel screwdriver works 10 millimeter socket and a nail wrench all it takes to put one back on or if you got a brand new one you have to do the same thing you got to make sure this is tight on a brand new magnet you always want to use loctite otherwise these will come loose in the water and you'll lose your magnet what do they look like out of the package is you got your bolt right there you have your eyelet you have a lock washer actually that's a regular washer there and you have your lock washer slide it through the magnet put your regular washer on top of the magnet along with your lock washer and then thread this on your eyelet bam you're done thanks for watching venture to low till next time make sure you have fun